Hi, this is Zalman and Liana, and we're at the home of uh, Micha Feldman here in Maccabim, Reut, uh, to interview him a little bit about uh, his work in Aliyah, um, in particular the Ethiopian community, in general, the whole idea of Aliyah and immigration to Israel. Thank you for having us. You think about Aliyah, not only in the Ethiopian context, but in the broader context. What, does, where, what is the role of Aliyah today? I personally believe that uh, a society uh, like ours that is made out of Olim or children of Olim uh, is a society of uh, varieties and every family that moves to Israel contributes to the, this variety with a lot of uh, challenges but a lot of advantages. Uh, even professionally, you know, we always say to ourselves Think out of the box. New immigrants have another box. And all of a sudden, when we, they work in a, in a, in a team, uh, ideas come up. And uh, it broadens our views of, of uh, the world, of values, and so on. So I think every family can uh, contribute and also uh, uh, get a lot of... Uh, contribution from society. So it's a win-win. Okay, when, when I was... Uh, I was born during the War of Independence in Israel. And uh, when I grew up, I, I, I was very angry with my parents. Why didn't they make Aliyah earlier or giving birth to me earlier so I could be part of uh, the fighting force for independence? Uh, so, uh, you know, with this bad feeling, all of a sudden I get the opportunity uh, to be part of this big issue of the, being involved in the Aliyah from, from Ethiopia. Uh, so, uh, I think uh, this is something that everyone can, can get. And uh, uh, as I always uh, finish my talks, uh, you know, uh, a few weeks after uh, Operation Solomon, I was sent to Germany to speak with German Jews on the on the, the operation. And uh, when we arrived, the, the first day we arrived, a, a colonel of the Israeli Air Force who flew one of the C-130s, a young Ethiopian social worker who worked with me uh, in Ethiopia, uh, we were scheduled eight hours eight hours after landing to speak to the Jewish community in Munich. And you know, usually Israelis go, uh, when they have some hours in Munich, they go shopping. And we decided not to go shopping and we went to Dachau. And there in Dachau it struck us. We understood uh, on the spot, on, on this earth filled with Jewish blood, that we have been given a big chance in our lives. Uh, and uh, looking at the crematorium in, in, in Dachau, I said to myself, you should thank God and the people who have sent you to Ethiopia, because everyone uh, can read history, some people can even write history. I got my chance of being part of history making. But I believe everyone can do it. You have to open your eyes and take the chance that you are giving, given and do it. Okay, Micha, thank you so much for giving us so much of your time, for sharing with us your insights, your personal stories. You really are inspirational on so many levels because, as you said, opportunities are around us all the time. But it takes, I think, a special person to be able to see that opportunity, take it, and then make something out of it. He is known in the Ethiopian community as Abba Mika, right? Father thank Mika. You. We say Toda Rabba. Thank you very thank much you. for having us. Yishak and just keep doing the great work that you and do. And you too. Thank you.